Four swimmers from the Las Vegas swim team, the Sandpipers, are going to the Olympics in Japan. Four of those swimmers swept the Olympic trials back on June 19th in Omaha, Nebraska. And as Sue Levitt tells us, one of those swimmers will be entering the Olympics as one of the youngest swimmers ever at the age of 15. Back on June 19th at the Olympic trials, Olympic champion Katie Ledecky swimming in the fourth lane in the 800 meter freestyle. Las Vegas Sandpiper swimmers Erica Sullivan and Bella Sims were on opposite sides of her with Katie Grimes in lane eight. That race for a second, coming down to the wall, very close and it will be Grimes making the team 15 years old, Tokyo bound. 15-year-old Katie Grimes qualifies in the 800-meter freestyle, finishing second to the great Katie Ledecky. Katie Grimes going to join the Katie in Tokyo. Grimes will swim as the youngest American Olympic swimmer since Ledecky in 2012, who was 15 at the time. The Sandpipers Las Vegas Swim Club wound up qualifying four swimmers for the Olympics. Grimes in the 800, Sullivan in the 1500, Sims in the 800 free relay, and another Sandpiper swimmer, Bo Becker, made the Olympics in the 400 free relay. After the trials and back in their hometown of Las Vegas, the three female Olympic swimmers took time to meet with the media. I'm just excited to go in there and if there's one thing that Team USA gets done, it's, it's bringing home some hardware. So, I mean, I think we're all going to do what we can to achieve that goal. All three girls have more than worked hard to achieve their Olympic goal. Sullivan has struggled emotionally after losing her father to esophageal cancer in 2017, and Sims didn't even begin swimming until six years ago. 10 was started when I started swimming, period. And then at the end of the year, I went to my first meet and got DQ'd in every single event. <laughs> because I was never taught to do a two-hand touch. Grimes, who has become the spotlight of this year's swimming trials, was struggling to win races against her own teammates in practice just six months ago. But these three pulled it together and showed up big in Omaha, all three qualifying for the Olympics, something a swim coach doesn't see every day. All three of them are going to get to train with the world's best. And so every day they get to get in there and see what uh, the top U.S. swimmers are doing and even that, not that they need to see that, but they're going to build even more confidence being in a practice with a Ledecky, being in a practice, you know, with all these other girls that are that have been there before, and and really be able to to move forward with that kind of confidence is even better. And having the confidence of Olympic champion Katie Ledecky calling Katie Grimes the future and the now means the world to the 15-year-old Las Vegas native. Well, she's like the best there is. So for her to say that to me was very touching. And just beyond that, she's an incredible person. She's so kind and, and welcoming for, I mean, who she is. Like, I've looked up to her for as long as I've been swimming. So for her to talk to me, I mean, it's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> I'm just so excited to train with her and stuff like that and race with her. So, I mean, this is, this is going to be incredible. It's like a dream come true. The Sandpipers work out at Pavilion Pool right here in Summerlin, just inside Councilwoman Siemens Ward 2. The Councilwoman is, of course, very supportive of the team and proud to present them with certificates from the city as they head off to the Summer Games in Tokyo. For City Beat, I'm Sue Levitt. Aside from those four swimmers that Sue featured in that story, it seems that the Las Vegas area is a hot spot for outstanding athletes. Here is a list of other athletes going to the Summer Olympics.